What's up y'all, Sparty here. So for this video, I want to do something a little bit different. An unboxing of a new laptop. It's the MSI Stealth. I don't remember the uh, model number. Because they like to do some like M whatever 6. six like It's not worth it to go through it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pause this so I can actually get this wrapping off. Alright, so let me get this off here and show you guys what it looks like no tripod so i'm like one handing this but uh and apologies for the bit of a messy desk um i got a new one so cleaning it off here so uh, let me get all this wrapping and crap off and then i'll be Okay, so I guess a brief explanation as to why I went with MSI, other, aside from my, over like Asus or like Acer, Acer <laughs> any of those brands, um, or iBuyPower, any of them. Um, because I already had a laptop I was familiar with that was a MSI laptop, and I decided why not, why not just keep it in the family, right? <laughs> And that's exactly what I did. So, what I'll do here. Not the best quality because I'm on the wide angle. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go with that. Um, get this open. Get that off. Ooh. Nice. Individually... Each individual key is backlit, so that's going to be very nice. Um, 300 hertz is also going to be very nice, but I have a 240 hertz monitor, so I'm not going to be seeing it most of the time. But when I'm, say, at the table or whatever, and I just want to do some very basic gaming, it'll be nice to have a 1080p 300 hertz display right in front of me so let me get my arcade stick out the way very very dusty arcade stick because i haven't been using it i get the magic keyboard that i'm never going to be able to use out of the way and these masks That's nice and is it's a metal chassis I don't know what kind of metal I would assume a magnesium or something I didn't really check but uh I think I'm gonna have to plug this in here first so let me do that as you guys can see this is a very chunky power brick um let's get the wattage here 230 watts holy fuck <laughs> holy hell I guess I'll do a comparison of the previous wattage of the wattage of my previous power brick from my previous laptop. So as you guys can see right there, there's 150 watts. So it's essentially double the power, the <laughs> power draw that's needed here. And um, going from a 3050 to 3080 is, um, I guess that's what does it, right? Um, as you guys can see what it says right here, um, Wi-Fi 6E, 100 watt hour battery, well, 99.9, .9, but it may as well be 100 watt hour. Cooler Boost Trinity Plus. Um, my last laptop had pretty, pretty damn good fans as well. What I advise, if you get a gaming laptop, never put it on um, anything without any sort of space for the fans to go. Because the heat will move around and um, it will... Um, the shielding around it will start to bend due to the heat. I literally had to go into the previous laptop and re-bend one of the shieldings around the fans because it was scraping. So I would advise you to do that. Um, but yeah, look at look at that difference, man. I'm going to plug it in here real quick. All right, so it's plugged in. Let's start it up here. Oh, man. Probably have to configure it to actually be at 300 hertz out of the box. But already, um, 
like the trackpad, not going to be using it, so it doesn't really matter. I have a mouse and keyboard. Um, keyboard is a little mushy, but I'm also used to a mechanical keyboard. So it's no, it's no mushier than my previous laptop, so it's whatever, but oh lord, that feels so nice. Um, I'm going to get through these settings here. All right, it's just restarting here. I put in all my info. So, uh, yeah, I'll come back when it's on the home screen. I guess what I can do while it's doing the setup is I'll just run down the specs here. So, like I said, a 1080p 300 hertz monitor, RTX 3080 i7. I guess the second latest to latest i7. So, um, uh, yeah. I forgot what that one was. I think it was the 10900K, I think. I don't pay attention to that so long as it's good enough to do what I needed to do. Um, 32 gigs of RAM, 1 terabyte of storage. Those two are the main reasons why I went with this one. I'm not going to be using this for any sort of like content creation. So, it's totally fine. Let me do this real quick. Okay, so I did all the setup bullshit. Um, this also does have Windows Hello. Um, so, that's nice. I'm going to have to set it up again because it didn't work the first time. But, uh, yeah, it's very nice to have. Um, that's all I'm going to do for this video, though. I will, if you guys are interested, I will do a follow-up talking about, say, speakers, keyboard, all that stuff. So, uh, this is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Because I know damn well I sure am now. <laughs> or whatever time or day it is, day it is in your area, have a good one.